This video provides a quick overview on how to upload, edit, and create a document in Office 365 libraries. So let's get started. Let's go right to the library. Let's click on Documents. Once we're in the Document Library, you will notice right away that in this particular case there's something called Folder. It's just a meta tag with one file in there. You can add the drop in here or drag and drop. Let's go ahead and do the Add New Document. So let's click here upload existing document and then let's go ahead and browse to the document we like be sure to note that you have the override existing file so if you're overwriting the same file over and over it's okay but if you have two files with the same name it will upload the latest one and overwrite the older one so let's go ahead and browse and find what we're looking for so here we are we'll go ahead and we'll select XGLA demo document 2 and we'll click OK it's gonna upload it right in there and then it's gonna ask me put a title in here. I have the option to do so. And I can select start scheduling start date or scheduling end date that may be relevant, may not be, but really the folder is what I'm looking for. Right? So I'm going to go ahead and put this into contracts and hit save. Once that happens, you'll notice that it's right underneath there. And there we go. So I've just uploaded. That's the first way of uploading a document into the Office 365 library. So let's try the drag file here method as well. All right, this is what most people use. Let's go ahead and open up the folder from my computer. All right, now we have that open. Let's go ahead and let's uh, drag and drop. Just that simple. So it's dragging and dropping. It'll go ahead and it starts loading. There it is. It's updated. Now you notice though it's put in the pending because that's the default quote unquote folder that we have. So let's go ahead and let's edit that. So let's click on the three dots. Click on the three dots again. And we're going to edit properties. Once the properties comes up, I'm going to select the folder that I want. And this is going to be business unit one. I can change the name, the title, scheduling information, and hit save. And as you can see, it's now located underneath there let's go ahead and edit a document how do we do that so I come in here and I click the three dots and I say okay I want to edit it I click the edit it's gonna ask me the typical things that Microsoft Office products ask you harmful files can be compute to your computer say so, yep that's okay I trust it no problem it's gonna open up the client on your computer and as you can see it brought it up so we'll click enable editing it's going to allow me to actually edit the document now so I can go ahead and edit the document so let's do so quickly alright so I've added a couple things we go ahead and we click the save with the circular arrows saves it back to SharePoint and I can close it out I hit X we come back to here and I just did it I hit the refresh and now let's refresh. I go ahead. I can actually click on the document, and it's going to open up in the Word web app, and I will see my changes. Pretty easy. So let's hit the back button. Go back to the library. So now let's go ahead and create a new document. So let's click New Document. What kind do I want to create? I'm going to do a Word document. It's going to ask me what the document name I want it to be. So I name it. I hit OK. It's going to create the document for me and show it to me in the Word web app and I can go ahead and start typing and then when I'm done I can literally just go ahead file exit the document is saved and we'll see it right underneath the pending test document 23 that concludes this video on how to upload edit and create a document in an Office 365 library. Thank you.